you know, have a trigger warning or something, click the links, join the channel here over at Subscribestar. So keep this image in mind as we go through this. Uh, th these are the people who are pulling the strings. These are the people who are calling you Hugo Boss <laughs> online, these bizarre, obese cat ladies. So Battletech versus is the mentally ill um, bolshies and how industry gets captured by globalists and it doesn't matter if it's board games video games comics movies it's all the same uh the same dogma is behind this people go into these 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 people seek positions of power and influence these far toxic left-wingers they see something working something having people having fun something that's just you know firing all, all eight cylinders and they look at it and they go ah it's a group of white guys doing something I'm, I'm going to have to get in there and get some power and, and, you know, get an assistant editing job or something, you know, some BS position that's just meant to move you up, getting coffee type of thing, the Heather Antoses of the world, and uh, eventually get hired and get, exert more and more influence and, and destroy the, the golden goose that was so many people were enjoying, which, you know, is why you got to gatekeep, but you can't gatekeep things you don't own the intellectual property too, which is, you know, there's no better time to create things right now, like comic books, games, whatever you want. Like really you look at better use of your time as opposed to like writing stories or consuming someone else's story. You know, it's always going to be better for your, your brain to be creating something. Okay. So the catalyst games labs covers up employee threatening violence. I remember Mags Versace on who was that other guy who was uh, writing comic books and was, was obsessed with, with Myers, um, the Battletech players over identity politics. There were, that guy got a lot of people obsessed with him and he, he was just such a mild dude sitting in the car talking about comics and you, you saw the response to him and you looked at that response and like, I don't know this Myers guy, but judging by these blue haired weirdos response uh he's probably getting close to the target so industry is susceptible to marxist capture because they don't actively defend against it and the bullshies are actively seeking to control or influence industry and they're funded by globalists you know in in the media and finance and political active committees and whatnot it, it, which is the deepest deepest pockets to get their narrative out there and the difference is that the left is actively moving to the left, to Bolshevism, across every facet that that can possibly carry a message. And the right responds to the movement of the left, but almost never starts things on their own. So he had, a, okay, this is cover Warhammer 40k Backlash, Cynthia Williams' resignation from Wizards of the Coast. Um, it re revealed today Mark Kern, veteran game developer, uh, Catalyst Labs is under occupation by woke bullshies, continue to plague Western culture through the destructions of property like Battletech, Mech War, and the, and the rest. Yeah, the movies, games, video games, um, comic books, whatever, anything that they can touch, they will get in there. And, and they go, you know what this thing, this, this perfectly well-oiled machine needs is, you know, insert some identity politics and diversity and feminism and you look at them no it really doesn't need any of that kind of stuff. oh istophobe says what you're just gonna have to put your foot down and go yeah this is just not for you different things for different people too many cooks are spoiling this the soup so the thing is it is changing now with things like comics gate and phantom menace on the pop culture side and then on the political side there's those uh, recent irl like patriot front types who are you know right-wing people who are finally getting off the couch and creating something uh, whether political or pop culture just doing something on their own so these groups are presenting an alternative to the mainstream narrative which is just written by these you know these fuchsia haired weirdos and 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 just nut job left wingers who insert like soup du jour identity politics that is going to be gone in, in you know in a year when when whatever they're they're on board with now just kind of blows over so this um this dude i don't know i don't know what his sex or gender is or if that matters for for youtube uh has this post on social media which kind of gives you a glimpse into into his his mind it's like a crazy person who's probably dangerous not that there's anything wrong with carrying for sure it's just people don't talk about it that's kind of the whole point of being concealed so he, he posts um why do you carry a liberty device in your battle tech events it's just a board game because there's base chat hugo boss dudes like this running around the community that's why and they try to hurt me my girlfriend or my players i'm sending them home 
in a body bag period because of filthy Frankenmex posting about uh, Magnus Hirschfeld, something that happened like a hundred years ago. So you think like at a, a convention, a uh, Battletech game board thing, uh, one of these Magic the Gathering type of things, you know, those those nerd, nerd cons, which used to be so much fun. You think you're going to get in a, a shootout with like the Hugo Boss crowd? That's that's crazy, right? You know that how insane that sounds. So normal people don't know how to understand. They don't understand these mentally ill Marxists, so they don't know how to deal with actually crazy people who act like parasites who destroy everything they touch, every industry, anything you enjoy, especially if it's people like you and I enjoy it, then they have to get involved with it. The system is set up to coddle left-wing mentally ill bullshies, but finally we're starting to see some resistance. The left sees people enjoying a hobby, and to be accurate, see, this is the difference. They see uh, people who look like you and I, the fair, beautiful people of the light. If we're enjoying ourselves doing something and they, there's no political commissar in there to tell us how to enjoy ourselves doing some hobby or what we can't say on a you know a, a live stream type of thing, uh, they 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 fills it fills them with Ruth rage because they know they have to get in there and they have to get control of it. Any other group is fine, but apparently the incandescent hatred at the idea of of people of the light having a nice time without these these SGW political commissars telling them what is allowed and, and you know. The Anita Sarkeesians and the Zoe Quins of the world taking two chicks who I'm sure don't play video games. I'm sure they line their asses off, saying, "Oh no, we need to make these games. Uh, put a chick in it and and make it uh, make it lame. Uh, we put more clothes on her. Like you don't play these games, do you? You just see men having a good time. And the other aspect of it is for them. It's a chance for them to uh, to grift." So these people really are goblins that seek uh, people having a good time, uh, usually going to be white people or just at least men. And, and I know it's a bit weird to point it out, but the truth is if it was a, a black, a Latin, an Asian group doing something, these SJWs wouldn't touch it. It's only when they see people look like us, the beautiful fair people of the light, that they think they need diversity. Mostly because other groups, they know, other groups know that they're above um, these kind of people on on the uh, their, you know, Saul Alinsky, Frankfurt School oppression uh, hierarchy. So you just, if some chick was, this chick was coming into any group, uh, you just say, hey, why don't you try eating a bag of dicks? Go create your own thing. Uh, we're going to gatekeep this as much as possible. Um, the thing is, if if they see something, if they see you having fun, then they 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 know that they have the go ahead to inject it with a a hot loaded disease cultural Bolshevism to to make it feminist to make it diverse and you just got to say yeah we're not into that diversity and feminism and whatever your woke left wing oh we we need more trans people in this this thing and the women you have to cover up unless they're trans then they can be they can be half naked and you go no we don't we don't want any of that why don't you just Go off and go off in your own corner and create your own thing. This is like when uh, Zach was going back and forth with Mags and the other mentally ill anti comics gay people. The left wing has a power hierarchy, and trans is at the absolute top, even if they do openly talk about violence and seem to indicate that they're they're dangerous. Not for for carrying wherever you want to carry. It's that you don't understand the optics of talking about it. That's the weird things and that you have a straw man kind of paranoid delusion about uh, because someone posted on Twitter about Magnus Hirschfeld that that this person's going to be a threat to you at a uh, a game meetup or a con or something like that that's the crazy part and that you don't see it like you never there's no internal filter telling you that all this is extremely unlikely by all means carry your little you know snubby detective special uh, whatever, but y y you really, the odds are you're not going to need it. You're going to need it more walking to your car than you you would inside the convention hall. That, that's the weird thing. Anyway, if you don't gatekeep these kind of people out from whatever you're involved in, uh, they destroy it. Um, they destroy it. They chase out the original people who then go off to create something new. And the whole time they're, they're calling people istophobic and it's like, yeah, you're you're trying to pander to like less than one percent of the audience. It just doesn't doesn't exist, but it doesn't seem to bother them. Anyway, 
like comment subscribe i'll see you guys all next you know look on our faces i know better than you what you need to do because my some bullshit professor told me everything